Hey guys, it's Smith from 735 here yet again with another video. This time we are starting off with 848 Revenant kills. Our loot tab for Revenant is currently sitting at 32.6 mil. We've gotten some nice dragon drops over here. We still haven't gotten the dragon medium helmet. I am not sure if that is part of the drop rate when you are scald, but I would like to see it because it is still sitting at a zero. I would like to have at least one. The ancient totem and the ancient emblem, they are not part of the drop rate when you are scald. So these will forever stay zero and very lonely. Now, ancient statuettes, the medallion, the effigy, the relic, the crossbow, the chain mace, the magic seeds, unfortunately, the ancient crystal. And another weapon that you do not see here is the Theramin Scepter. Now, I don't know if I should just buy one, place it here as a placeholder, and then sell it. Um, I might just so that it looks uh, better and you get a better idea of uh, what the drop of what drops I can get. But um, yeah, let's uh, head back to revs. Hopefully in this video we get lucky and get a nice little rare drop. Or let's see how long it takes for me to get a rare drop because in this video I would like to show you guys the next rare drop that I get. And hopefully it's not magic seeds or an ancient crystal because come on, those aren't, you know, good rare drops to show off. I want to get another ancient relic. What do you guys think? Bruh. That brings it to 17 magic seeds, which comes out to a total of 2.4 mil. But 17 magic seeds, there it is. That's two magic seed drops. So we have 928. We are still under 1,000 total KC of Scald Revenants. And we managed to get, well, two magic seed drops and one ancient relic drop. Eh, these guys could have beat me, really, because I wasn't even paying attention to the screen. I was watching some videos. But, um, they would have came out with some nice loot if the barrager didn't barrage and instead waited for the t beer. Bunch of idiots. I have 65 charges left. Eh, I should have left anyways. So, let's go bank this 600k. Nope. That was close. That was very close. But nah. I think it's going to be faster than that. So I stopped at 999 uh, kill count for Revenants. And my total loot tab is looking at 35.5 mil. Still haven't gotten any rares after the Magic Seeds. But we are still going to keep trying. Obviously, that's the whole point of this video. So let's go back to Revs. Bruh. Good fight. Did I did I smite him? I got his dark bow. No fucking way. No fucking way. I just smited the dark bow. Good fight, bro. Good fucking fight. How much is that? 854k. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that straight to the bank.
and in this looting tab managed to get um, 1.04 mil which is absolutely amazing uh, managed to get some dragon plate legs no rares but still I'll take 1 mil looting bags any day now let's go to the bank real quick now adding the loot to, from the looting bag comes out to 39.8 mil and our kill count comes out to 1.1 thousand revenant kills amazing um, we're doing absolutely amazing with our kills we're not dying as much but we are getting tremendous xp nonetheless from killing revenants with the chain mace it is amazing uh melee xp so i recommend everybody who's training melee to do this method um scald unscald doesn't matter get yourself a chain mace Good fight, bro. Ooh, it's my mains loot. Not bad. Let's go back. That is some really juicy loot. Look at all that. Oh my god, 944k from that kill. That is absolutely fucking tremendous. And this idea of PKing on two accounts could be its own series of its own or a, a segment of the series. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section of including a few kills, including my peer into this series because I had a lot of fun PKing on two accounts. It's difficult, but it's rewarding as you guys can see right there. No fucking way. Oh. Oh my god. I thought I lost it. <laughs> it was a PVM death, so I, I kept it. Oh my god, that would have been so fucking like... I would have been like having a heart attack by now. I'd been like, oh my god, I lost it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> Alright, this is humiliating, by the way. This is very humiliating. I just... <sighs> I ran into an issue that I knew I had to address eventually, and it looks like this issue came up quicker than expected. I was running out of cash to fund my revenant trips. After the charge of chain mace was not cheap, and each time I died would cost at least 200k, not counting other supplies. As you guys may know, I do not want to sell any loot acquired from killing revenants, because then there is no point in doing this series and documenting my drops and kill count. It would be much more difficult to keep track of how much I have gained while killing revs if it were not for this method. So in order to solve this problem, I had to find a new money making method that was not revs and that I would still enjoy doing. One of these methods is demonic gorillas. I used to do these a lot for two main reasons. One, killing demonic gorillas will help me practice my gear and prayer switches, which is necessary for PKing. And second, 1 in 300 drop rate for the Zenite chart, which is 14 mil at the time of this video. Just one Zenite chart drop would help me continue this grind for a long time and not worry about my GP. The only problem is, Demonic Gorillas share some of the same drops that Revenants do. So in order to keep the accuracy of the Rev loot, I would instantly sell my Demonic Gorillas loot to the Grand Exchange. I will only do Demonic Gorillas for GP however. Other bosses and NPCs will be part of my money making methods such as Lizardman Shamans, but that's a whole nother video. 